Kia ora Year 12 and Year 13. This weekend I'm going to fill in some of the gaps with some old excellence questions from integration. Here's one from 2013. It's a differential equation question. So it goes like this. A property owner assumes that the rate of increase of the value of his property at any time is proportional to the value V of the property at that time. So what does that mean? Well, it means that dV by dt is equal to k v. Now the property valuations are given to us. In May 2012 the property was worth this much and in November 2013 the property was worth this much. But he bought the property at, in May 2007. So let's work with months and call t equals 0 May 07. So what's May 2012? Well, May 2012 is five years later, so it's going to be T equals 512s are 60. So that's May 2012. Now, November 2013 will be 18 months further on, so it'll be T equals 78. So that's November 13. So what we've got here is a pretty straightforward differential equation problem where we've got a value of V for two different time points. And that's good because we know from experience hopefully by now, that we're going to get two constants of integration. So we're going to go ahead and anti-differentiate. Um, first we have to separate the variables. So we'll get this. 1 over v dv is equal to k dt. And we integrate both sides with respect to v and t. That gives me our usual pattern of log of v is equal to kt plus c, giving me v equals e to the kt plus c which we can write like this. This is equal to AE to the KT. Right, so the two constants that we've got to work with are A and K. We're going to do that now. We're going to substitute in what we've got um, and then do a little bit of work. So what we're doing here is we're trying to figure out what was V when T equals zero. We're not given the initial value. It doesn't make any difference because we're given these two points, but it's a slightly different format from usual. So substituting in, let's see what we've got, 365 and 382,000. Okay, so 365,000 is equal to A, E, K to the power of, uh, sorry, K times 60. And then the next price was, 382,000, and that equals AE to the K times 78, right? So two equations, two unknowns. Slightly different pattern from usual. What we're going to do is divide one by the other. So if we do that, for this 2 and this 1, we get 382,000 over 365,000 is equal to E to the 78k over e to the 60k. So this is going to give me my value of k eventually, then I'll need to substitute back in to get a. Right, so um, what we've got here, so 382 over 365 is equal to e to the power of 78k minus 60k, which is e to the power of 18k. I'm going to take logs of both sides, and that gets me log of 382 over 365 is equal to 18k. k will equal 1 18th of this thing here. Right, now when you chuck that in your calculator, you're going to get a very, very small number. Um, I'm going to cheat and just hop to the um, Excel spreadsheet that I did it in because my calculator's at school, so k equals, let's see, well, there's the schedule, we'll just look at the schedule. So k works out to be this number here, and that's what I got as well. So 0 0.002529, All right, so that's my first constant. I take that and I chuck it back into my differential equation, which is giving me this. So v is equal to a e to the kt, so it's 0 0.002529. T. Right, so we're just about finished. We can use either of those two points. Um, which one will I use? I think I'll use the 365. 
So if we substitute in this, and this is after 60, what are we going to get? I'm sorry about the background noise. 365,000 is equal to A, E times this. And we're looking for this initial value here of A. Right, so um, 365,000 divided by E to the power of blah, blah, blah will give me A. And A works out to be um, 311,000. Let's just cheat and look at the schedule. No, nope, $313,611. Okay, so there we go. I think that's actually a really easy excellence question, as long as you keep your wits about you. You've just got two points, and you're finding something slightly different. If you didn't spot that A was the initial value, you could have worked it out, and then you'd get this. And then when you substitute in T equals zero, you'll realize that this is just one. Okay, so your initial value is this number here. Thanks for watching. Um, if you've got any more questions that you want me to do over the weekend, just send me an email. My email address is um, in this format. There's no P in Thompson. And then it's at dubc.school. And I'm just going to put the country code there in case there's any weird spammy things out there. All right, so flick me an email and I'll see if I can help. Thanks.